morning, everyone, and welcome back to Ben and Holly's Theme Park Adventures. Yeah. Where are we, Holly? Out in town for the last day of Mardi Gras. For the last day of Mardi Gras 2023, aren't we? We've come. It's Sunday the 18th of June, and it's also Father's Day. Father's Day, yeah. Holly wanted to come back to Alton Towers for Father's Day. She wanted to take me to Alton Towers for Father's Day. So we came here last year, didn't we? So there's a video on our channel from last Father's Day at Alton Towers. So it's only right to come back here for Father's Day for 2023 as well. Um, you did ride 13 last year, didn't you? But um, you already ride that all the time now. That was a special treat for Father's Day, wasn't it? Um, but you already ride that. So today we're going to do pizza pasta, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to go and pizza pasta for lunch. That's going to be our Father's Day treat. Nathaniel's not come. We were at Blackpool Pleasure Beach yesterday, so we are all a bit tired as well. So Nathaniel yeah. didn't fancy coming, so that's fine. Uh, so it's just going to be me and Holly, but we're going to document all that Mardi Gras had to offer in 2023. So yeah, yeah. come with us, guys. This should be a great event. And the final parade is going to be awesome, isn't it? For the final one. Yeah. So yeah, come with us, guys. Let's go. Owen Towers Mardi Gras 2023. Yeah.
That was awesome, wasn't it? Having that nice dance with all the all the crews. Well, I say all the crews. You just stuck with the Mutiny Bay crew, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, really good. You like that dancing, don't you? Did you enjoy yourself? What was your favourite song? This one. The feet can't fail me now. On yeah, they're doing another performance now already. They put a lot of work in these entertainments team, don't they? They literally dancing from like half past 10 until half past 12 so yeah they have little breaks in between but in this hot weather it's i think it is a bit cooler today though isn't it but it's still tough so yeah big big shout out to them where are we going now Curse. we're going to the curse of alton manor yes yeah, so come with us guys let's go curse of Alton manor so we're on the way through to curse of alton manor and we're going through mutiny bay and holly wants to do marauders mayor we haven't done this for a while have we let's go marauders mayor Are you ready, Holly? We're gonna do super spins. Lots of spinning, yeah? Let's go, Marauders Mayhem. Woo! It's a nice ride on Marauders Mayhem, wasn't it? Yeah. Makes a change, doesn't it? Stop it, on it this season, have we? No, I don't think we have, no. Makes you dizzy, though. First ride of the day, make you a bit, bit dizzy, all that spinning. I've just had a little chocolate bar as well, so it's kind of repeating on me. <laughs> Are we headed to the curse now? Should we have a look at Wickham and see what that's on before we go by? Yeah, let's go. There's Big Bob in the distance, Holly. And we can see, what does it say? 35 minutes. 35, yeah, we'll do that. 35 minutes for Wickham, man. Absolutely, let's go. It's looking like he's smoking a lot today, Big Bob, Holly. <laughs> One thing I've noticed about Big Bob, have you noticed it? His flames aren't working. We've got no flames. A few weeks ago he was down to one shoulder and now uh, none of them are working. That's a shame, isn't it? It's like one of the best effects on it. Was that right it was on Wicker really Man? Fun. We got on row nine. We got on row nine, didn't we? You asked for row 12. Um, operation's a bit funny in there, isn't it? Because um, basically, the pre show was it's on three trains. Uh, the pre show was holding up the train in the station, yeah. so they cut the pre show short. The guy came in and literally ushered us all out of there to fill the train because the train was just sitting empty in the station. <laughs> so, I think that is the problem with Wicker Man when it's on three trains. It just, um, yeah, the pre show's not quick enough to get everyone through, so. Yeah. Yeah, but it's still a really good ride. Absolutely loved it. Running really fast yeah. and intense, isn't it? It is quite, yeah, bit, yeah, absolutely awesome ride on. Well, come on, yeah. let's go where we're going now. Yeah. We're still headed to the curse. We've not made it yet, but we might get there eventually. <laughs> There's no actors about, huh? There's one at the entrance to the manor. It's not Todd. <laughs> Todd did CBeebies today, he told me the other day. <laughs> oh, they've cut short the queue, look. Oh, that's a shame because I think it's still nice to walk around the queue if you've not been on it before, as it builds up the atmosphere for the ride. There's lots of little Easter eggs around there, isn't there? That's a shame. But the thing is, it's better for us before we can Yeah, it's better for us because you just do a shorter walk to get on, but should at least give you the option. All the padlocks are still there. The 10 padlocks, or five or six, whatever it is. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Afternoon. Evening. Morning. 
There's no knocker. We can't knock. On the final chime of midnight, the manor appeared to be struck by a storm of supernatural proportions. All known occupants of the house perished. That is, aside from the owner's only child, Ellen. to be honest 1880 to 18 i'm not sure maybe i'm being a bit dumb but i, I was trying to figure it out the other day does it just mean one i'm not i'm not sure like perhaps we should ask one of the actors what it means what is this supposed to be well, that's supposed to be we we're trying to figure out the 1880 the to 18. she was born yeah. and then she died in 18 I don't know whether but, she's died or not. But but it doesn't make sense to 18. So she was born on December 31st, 1880. Yep. And she died December 31st, 18. Oh, okay, 18. Yeah, we don't in, know. In the 1800s, certainly, but we don't know whether she's dead uh, or not. Okay. Wow. Maybe we should just open this up and have a look if she's in there. Are we sure? We, yeah, we, we couldn't find the body. There was no bodies anywhere. My body isn't even anywhere to be found. I can see it. <laughs> no one, they all just puffed into purple smoke. Yeah. It's magic like that. Really. Magic. Dark magic. <laughs> the evil woman So that's it then, we figured it out. 18, we don't know. <laughs> that was cool, wasn't it? Nice little ride on the old Alton Manor. No effect in there, what was it? It was the lightning. Yeah, so when you go through the garden scene, if you look up above the coffin where Emily rises up in the window, yeah, there's a nice bolt of lightning now. It's a little jump scare thing, isn't it? It makes a big loud crack and then a big bolt of lightning comes down, so that's cool. And then you learnt about the uh, plaque on Emily's casket, didn't you, outside? Yeah. So it means 18, is she dead, is she not? Who knows? So yeah, it's a bit of a like question mark, isn't it? Maybe it should say 18 then question mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are we going now? Uh, pizza pasta. Pizza pasta, yeah. Let's go, because I'm starving. Let's go, pizza, pizza. pasta. <laughs> so yeah, this is the price of pizza pasta. £17 for adults and £8.95 for children. It's unlimited or you can eat buffet. But you do get Merlin discount, don't you, Holly? And they've got a Mardi Gras pizza. <laughs> There's all the garlic bread that Holly likes. <laughs> Let's get that bolognese pasta as well here. It's the Mardi Gras pizza. So you also get the salad bar as well as loads of stuff to choose from. Loads of sauces, cold sauce. So we're in pizza pasta. So it cost £20.76 for us two, didn't it? 
you get your Merlin discount. Um, so yeah, with the discount, it's £20.76 for one adult, one child. So you get unlimited soft drinks, unlimited garlic bread for Holly, because <laughs> that's what she wants right now. You are going to have some pizza though, aren't you? And some cucumber, you like the cucumber. There is a salad bar. I will have a little walk around in a minute and show you, but I'm hungry, so I've just got myself some pizza. They've got a Mardi Gras pizza, which looks nice. It's got sliced hot dog, jalapenos, crust nachos, peppers, all sorts of stuff on there. And then pepperoni pizza, yeah, so I'm going to tuck in. Tell you something, this Mardi Gras pizza is spicy. I like spicy food, it's hot, very hot, but it's very nice. It's a shame they don't always do that because you only get, I think you get margarita, pepperoni, garlic bread, and ham and pineapple, I think, don't you? I think that's the only pizzas they do. Oh no, there's a chicken one as well, like chicken and something. But yeah, that Mardi Gras one is nice, it's very spicy. What's your favourite thing about the garlic bread one? Mm. It's very crispy, isn't it? The garlic on it. It's lots of garlic and it's crispy. I like it because it's very crispy. But I think the, my, my favourite thing at the minute is that Mardi Gras pizza, to be honest. Hey, look at them talking the Mardi Gras. They've got all their Hawaiian shirts on. Got the window seat by the mine tree here, haven't they? Are you going to have any pasta? So there's bolognese pasta in there and there's cheese pasta. Bolognese, cheese pasta, and what was the other one? Tomato and basil. <laughs> what did you say? You don't like basil, and the pigs don't like basil either, the guinea pigs. <laughs> I have to say, I am officially stuffed after that. I think I've had about four pizzas. <laughs> that Mardi Gras pizza was lovely, really nice. It's a shame because today's probably the last day it's gonna, they're going to have that there. But I will say, uh, you know, the food at Alton Towers has not been great this year with the Aramark uh, situation, but out of all of it, that is definitely the best in it. We've probably had there, I think, three times now this season. Yeah, we um, did. And it's nice every time. We did a lot with Mummy as well. Yeah, we came with Mummy, didn't we? And um, yeah, it is nice. The pizza's really, really nice. Um, and the garlic bread. And it's good value, I think. You can actually, yeah, just sit in there for ages if you want and eat loads of food. So <laughs> yeah, out of everything, that's probably the best value food and probably the nicest. So yeah, get yourself in pizza pasta. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to see they've got all the smoke. Uh, effects working in the queue line for Curse at Alton Manor. The only thing is you don't go all the way through the queue line anymore, do you? So you don't really see it, but it's nice, quite atmospheric here, this bit walking through, just from Katanga Canyon. Um, yeah, the smoke adds a bit of atmosphere. It's so a bit yeah, of a scent to it bit of a scent. What the smoke? I don't know if that's just the weeds and the nettles. <laughs> uh, so where we're we heading now, Holly? Subterra. We're going to Subterra, aren't we? Because we've heard it's been toned down a bit, so we're going to go and see for ourselves. And the new sign's up as well. I've seen it already when I came with your brother the other day. But when you I'll told show you. me, I straight away told, asked you, does the ticklers tone down as well? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Holly thought the ticklers on your legs will have been toned down because they were quite rough. But yeah, I don't think that's the case. I think it's just the. What do you think to the sign? This observation platform. What, what is this? It's to look at the <laughs> What's not working in the subterra queue line? <laughs> so the audio is You know how I say like the and swarm the alien took it over? I think Nemesis took it over. Nemesis has destroyed the TVs. <laughs> That's not very good, is it? I mean, I don't know how much they spent on these new TVs, but yeah, they're just not working. Got the audio on there, like like it's still playing but there's just no picture <laughs> it's a shame <laughs> so I was right on sub terror it was all right my throat hurts though. Holly was screaming she burst my eardrums <laughs> why did you do that because I don't like it <laughs> I think you scared everyone else in there with your screams. That lady was saying she was more scared because you were screaming. She didn't know what was happening. But yeah, it has been toned down a bit. There was only one actor in the end, but he didn't jump in the lift or anything when the doors opened. So yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Uh, it also takes away from it a bit when the phalanx are asking everyone on the road to push their seats down, push the lap bar down. 
that takes away from it a little bit. But yeah, it's nice to have this attraction, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it anymore, do you? Mm. I think we'll still ride it, but yeah, it's it's um, <laughs> it's a bit of a strange one, really, because it's, it, it's just like the how long it takes to like get you in in the seats and stuff like that. It takes away from the immersiveness of it, because it was really immersive the first time we did it. It seemed to really work well, but yeah. Uh, we'll still keep doing it, won't we? But yeah, it's not the greatest thing on part. It's nice to have something in Forbidden Valley, though, for sure. Yeah. It's really cool. The big turnaround section. It's like section. an actual observation. Yeah, so you can see that. So that's just the turnaround just before the uh, loop, isn't it? Just before you go into the loop, right by the side of the station at the queue line. It'll be cool when they put the loop back. So yeah. Yeah, when they put the loop in, that's going to be awesome, isn't it? When they put that in. But yeah, we're going to go for a ride on the monorail now. Oh, just as we say it, there's the monorail. Yeah, we're going to go for a ride on the monorail to get a closer look, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Mind the doors, please. Mind the doors. Tick up. And there she is, the lovely nemesis. There's the inversion, final inversion. You can't really see the big turnaround section there. There's the overbank. It's awesome, doesn't it? It's a bit racketeer. The monorail. It is a bit racketeer. Yeah. What I did notice was there's loads of scaffolding around the back end of the station as well, around Nemesis's tail. Like scaffolding, where like construction where they can climb up on the scaffold. So there's all that. So I wonder, yeah, if they're going to use that to get on top of Nemesis Beast and uh, paint the station and stuff. They just need to um, paint it black. Do you think? It's Do you think the monster's going to be painted it's black? It's already red, but that egg in the uh, subterrain needs to be changed. Why? To match them. But it's blue. It's just the light on it's blue. We hope oh. Now that is impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> there we go. That is another one just for you. Go on then, let's go. Feels really quiet on part, doesn't it, today? Yeah. Some cool juggling that was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does feel really hard quiet. To learn to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's just hard to juggle. I can't juggle. Me either. No. All I can do is say, <laughs> just wriggle your beads. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Smiler's only on a 25 minute queue. Wicker Man's on a 25 minute. It's really, really quiet, so it's cool. Yeah, we've had a good one. 
See you later. Take care.
just enjoyed the taking it to the streets performance, haven't we? Yeah. And you had lots of dancing with Mutiny Bay again, didn't you? And now we've had one of the flavour, what are they called? <laughs> flavour burst ice creams, I think. So yeah, I've had cherry, what did I have? Cherry, blueberry and caramel, I think. You just had caramel, didn't you? Yeah, they're very nice. It's, it's cool because he just inputs it into like the computer on the machine and then it just splurts the ice cream out like that. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah, very nice. Keep your head back. Hold on tight. You. Ride on 13, and now we're going on Rita. How was your ride on 13? Right. Scary. I kept my eyes open the whole time. You had them open this time, did you? We were asleep it's on the photo, weren't we? we it's too hard to count all the rain. We did a pretend sleeping photo, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Behind <laughs> you. Don't climb the fences. You're going to get injured. <laughs> Lost the shoe. <laughs> Don't climb the fences, you're gonna get injured. People carry on climbing the fences and lose their shoe. Yeah, Rita's gone down, so um, we're leaving the queue line. Around the queue, not over the queue. Thank you. Oblivion, five minutes, Holly. Rude not to. Let's do it. Time for Oblivion. <laughs> you don't moan about riding this anymore, do you? You like it now? Just wondered over here, wondering what you're doing. No cameras. No cameras. No cameras. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what we're we doing now? We'll go for another one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go for another ride on Oblivion because it's literally walk on, so. Yeah, I'm just doing a ride on Oblivion. There's the fun fair over there, Holly. You like the fun fair? Not really, not the best. Not the best. We, still, we do like Spin Jam though, right? Should we do a ride on Spin Jam after Oblivion? Yeah. 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 So it's been a while since we've updated you. We've just done like six rides on Oblivion. The weather has just gone absolutely torrential. And as we were coming up here, a massive thunder, it was thunder, wasn't it? And then a huge flash of lightning and literally all the power's gone down in Oblivion. And they've just, well, they've just turned it back on actually. But yeah, all the power's gone down. They've just harnessed themselves up because there's a train up there. And yeah, they're going up. It's absolutely chucking it down. I feel so sorry for the people that are up there. 
Um, yeah, this is torrential. Look at it. <laughs> Ollie, I just want to stay here because I don't want to go out there and get soaked. No, they're gonna have to evac all them people off that are up there. I want to see. Oh god, that could have been us. We were literally in the next train, Holly. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Alton Towers has turned into. Oh look, he's having a shower. <laughs> Three showers at just chicken. <laughs> I should have brought my shampoo. Legend. <laughs> Thank you. Nice one. What's your name, Mick? My name's Ben. And ben. guys, ben! like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. It's Legend. Ben! Thanks, Ben. Nice to meet yeah. you, Mick. Cheers. So that was an experience, wasn't it? <laughs> the weather's sort of slowed down a little bit now the rain hasn't it it's calmed down a bit just met some lovely people in just chicken so hey guys and yeah thanks for talking to us and uh, that was uh, ben who was taking a shower <laughs> yeah ben and jess i think the name was jess sorry if yeah. i've got your name wrong but it was jess i'm sure but yeah nice to meet you guys but yeah we're just heading over to food street now and seeing what's cracking off over there yeah. i don't think the parade's gonna happen which is a shame but um, i think yeah. it might if it cools down well yeah but i mean it's, well, it's wet, not isn't it yeah We've got people who've been evac'd in front of us and the foil around them. <laughs> Holly's giggling, but it's not really funny, Holly, because yeah, like, they, they will have been sat I, on there. I want some foil. <laughs> you want, I some, want foil. some foil? You want to be shining like a spaceman? No, I, I want some foil for protect. Oh, to protect you, to keep you warm? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like the day's just over now. Right? It just really feels flat. But hopefully not. Flat. Hopefully we can still get the parade. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Food streets like a river now as well. It's like river street. <laughs> this is a disaster. It's like a disaster zone here. <laughs> oh dear. If you've ever wondered how they retrieve the golf balls from the lake, literally by hand. <laughs> There's a guy just wading in there, um, scooping them all out into a bucket. You're not going to get any wetter, is he? Holly spotted him in the lake. <laughs> literally fishing all the golf balls out. No, yeah. he's not. I bet he's just doing it because, you know, it's... Just... Well, no one's playing golf, are they? So I yeah. suppose, well, it's probably the best time to go and f fish some balls out. <laughs> Head into the arcade. <laughs> <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> It's completely dead. dead here, isn't it? Yeah. You can just hear the oven beating. <laughs> There's no music. There's no atmosphere. It's completely flat. It's like it's been closed for hours. Yeah. Oh dear. A sad end to Mardi Gras. Let's go to a rare visit into the games bunker, Holly. We don't come in here that often, do we? <laughs> Holly's sad. So that's it. We've had it confirmed. <laughs> the parade is not happening. They said the power, the power's gone down. I don't understand why the power. I suppose they can't do the speakers and stuff for the music. That's why there's no music here. Um, so yeah, there's going to be no parade. That's a real, real sad end to the day, isn't it? Because I wanted to get some footage of the last last parade because last time it was really really good fun wasn't it but we still had a nice day haven't we so yeah we're going to walk to the hotel exit and then we'll um, end the vlog up there so yeah see you later guys it's like an apocalyptic scene there's just <laughs> people walking around with foil on them everywhere we could do some foil because we're absolutely soaked it's like we just come off Valhalla again Holly we were at Blackpool yesterday on Valhalla and I think I'm wetter now than I was after I come off <laughs> We haven't bought any coats. I should have known it was forecast thunderstorms and bought some coats. My trainers are soaking, everything's soaked. And there's all foil people down there. We'll be here dancing. How sad, eh? What a sad, sad end to Mardi Gras. 
At least you got to dance with your um, Mutiny Bay crew, didn't you, earlier on? And, uh, oh, you wanted to dance with Forbidden Valley and, in, and Mutiny Bay, didn't you, in the final parade? So, what a shame. Oh, well. Mardi Gras 2024, then. <laughs> The electricity's still working for these dudes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> They're still That's able to, to tell their jokes. <laughs> well, to make people happy. It's not made us happy, has it? <laughs> so, that's the end of uh, Alton Towers Mardi Gras 2023. Um, have we had a good day, though, up until the rain in Higher, higher. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were having such a lovely time going lapping oblivion, weren't we? Because it was just practically walk-on, so we were just lapping it. I think we did six rides in the end, and then that huge thunderstorm, just a massive clap of thunder and lightning, and then all the power just went down just as we were about to board the train. Um, so thankfully we weren't on it. Um, feel sorry for the people that had to be evac'd off there, because that wasn't very nice, because um, it was absolutely chucking it down with rain. And it took them a while to get them off. And then there was evacs off the Smiler. Um, but before that, before the storm, we had a lovely time, didn't we? We did lots of nice rides. Uh, we did Wick Command, didn't we? Um, we ended up going on 13, which was nice. We had pizza pasta. You had dancers with the crews on Food Street, didn't you? You danced at the start of the day. But yeah, you did really want to do the parade because that was something else, wasn't it, that last time? That was epic. But what? Well, never mind. Never mind. It is a shame. But. Uh, <laughs> I can't cheer her up, she's uh, very sad. So we're going to end the vlog here, um, but thanks for watching guys if you're still with us at this point. If you have liked the video, um, hit the like button for us because it really does help. Um, and yeah, thanks a lot and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs>